Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and this is a specific futures trading video for Think or Swim using tick chart. So I've got YM on the thousand tick chart. Now, one of the things that we look for with the Elliott wave and then the roller coaster is not just trading that fifth wave, which is highest probability move, and we'll go in to both of these trades, both the long and the short, in a minute. But also we look at potential trend reversals when that fifth wave is hit. Uh, this has came about purely because we've had a potential customer uh, that has uh, got in touch and said, look, does Elliott Wave work on tick charts? Uh, so I've been investigating and it is fantastic. But also I want to bring in the roller coaster for those trend reversals as well, because those targets that we print automatically are pretty hot. So first of all, I'm just going to zoom into the to the long trade and talk about um, you know the entry and things like that for it so the main thing is that the Elliott wave indicator suite identifies the waves the most important wave for us is this fourth wave pullback so when this finds support in one of these pullback zones uh, green is an 80% probability that's going to go on and hit this fifth wave target zone amber is 80 and red is 75 we you know this finds really good support in the amber zone so we're looking for an entry now the way we look for entries are we use the 6-4 moving average high so let's just zoom in a little bit more here so part of the indicator suite is this uh, green moving average 6 more 6-4 moving average high but also I've drawn on there a regression trend channel just to show you that you can also use that as well you just take it between the three and the four uh, and that would would be your entry uh, sensibly you know you know let's let's talk about the entry strategies here if you've had a way forward down here you've had a recent pivot here you can make sure you're going long above there okay you stop for any fifth wave traders underneath the wave four and then your risk reward is reasonably good all the way up to that fifth wave target zone uh, managing it is reasonably simple in that uh, a lot of people just take the the trade off as soon as it hits that fifth wave target zone we do have EMA clouds uh, that we can use to, to to manage that if I add that EMA cloud just to show you now EMA cloud I'm going to put it on to 34 to begin with. You see here, we, we've got the EMA cloud on 34. Once it breaks the EMA cloud, you can take it out or it hits the target, whatever you want to do. Uh, you want to be a little bit more conservative. You can change that EMA cloud to 55 or 89 if you wish. Uh, we'll go about the trend reversal in a minute. I just want to go now to the short. The same rules apply, but in reverse. So we have a wave four pullback. It finds resistance in the amber zone. We can go short outside the six four moving average low, the red moving average low. Uh, we can go short out of regression trend channel or indeed the EMA cloud. And as you can see here, fifth wave move comes all the way down to our automated fifth wave target zone right here. So on this thousand tick chart on YM over the last five days, some fantastic trades one good long, one good short. But that's not all. If you now add into the mix the roller coaster to look for those trend reversals when it hits those fifth wave target zones or when it comes back up to look at this double uh, top here, that gives us more trading opportunities by using two different uh, trading indicators. The fifth wave is a with trend and the roller coaster is really looking for those trend reversals. So I'm just going to Put the roller coaster back as visible. Okay, so here we go. Fifth wave target zone is hit. These were good trades anyway, part of that fifth wave. Um, but the main thing is for me, when we've hit that fifth wave target zone, I'm looking for a reversal. With the roller coaster, we have uh, this green, which is your entry for the short, and you stop just above the wave five. And then as the trade progresses, it prints the trailing stop position there. Winner, winner chicken dinner. Now let's go and look at this fifth wave move. 
it hits the fifth wave target we're looking for the long there's your green entry for the long there's your stop for the roller coaster starts to print the trailing stop and you get in a great trade again now what we're doing is that currently live right now we've had or enjoyed a really good bullish momentum move it's formed a wave three what we're waiting for now is a pullback into our probability pullback zones for a wave four to trade a fifth wave again so continual trading opportunities with both the elite wave indicator suite and the roller coaster trading index futures uh, on the 1000 tick chart uh, I'm, you know, I've looked at all the charts 10,000 tick on ES and everything like that it works very very well uh, and this has all come about by an inquiry uh, and to be honest it looks very very good uh, using tick charts both with the Elliott Wave indicator suite and the roller coaster indicator on the Think or Swim trading platform.